out there playing like you had everything to prove. So that's what our team needs to do. That's what we need to do as a team so that we can make the improvement that we need to make. We have a bye week coming up. Um, you know, certainly we'll look at this film and um, make a lot of corrections. And if we're going to have a good football team, we're going to have to improve as a team. And that's certainly what we're going to be technical about in terms of how we approach our players and what they do. Nick, it was easy to see the, the blocking and Christian's returns, but I thought coverage on special teams was good. Can you talk about all of it? Special teams was great in this game. You know, Cody did a good job punting. Uh, kickoff coverage is really good. Uh, to get a kickoff return and a punt return both for touchdowns in a game is, um, you know, outstanding. But we had a couple other big plays that changed field position, you know, in special teams. And the coverage was great. You know, the number one goal in special teams is control vertical field position. And uh, I thought that was a big part of this game tonight. Not only the return game, but also the good punts, the good coverage, um, the drive starts created by the kickoff coverage team, several inside the 20. Um, those things are huge advantages and, you know, affects the offense in terms of what they can do. You know, Coach, Christian Jones last year, I mean, he had 30 attempts, whether it was kickoff or punt uh, returns. He had one TD tonight, you know, he just explodes. Is that something that you have making a concentrated effort on uh, to get him more opportunities in the return game? And is it something that you've worked on in the offseason? I mean, uh, you know, he, he just exploded tonight. Can you talk a little bit about well, that? Well, you know, I, I think that people take – for granted that just because a guy has a lot of skill that it doesn't take experience to be a good returner. Uh, I think it does. Uh, I think just the judgment of when to take the shot as to catch the ball and run with it, when to make a fair catch. Uh, and, you know, last year was Christian's first time doing this stuff. And he had some opportunities last year, but he learned a lot from it. Uh, he's done a great job in the offseason. Uh, I think we have really good team speed, so we have a lot of guys that are good on special teams. And I think that's, that's helpful. Some of them are young players, but they certainly did a good job tonight. And uh, we want our return game to be a weapon for us, and it certainly was tonight. Coach, what was their offensive line, excuse me, their offensive line able to do, excuse me, their defensive line able to do against your offensive line? It seemed like there were periods where they were really able to get to your quarterback and kind of cause a lot of disturbance. Well, they did. They, they, they moved on us up front. Uh, we whiffed a few times uh, because they have good quickness. And, you know, they overloaded the side and then would slant back. So when they were running us down from the backside because we weren't getting them cut off. So they just kind of outplayed us up front, if you want to know the truth. Um, you know, their 99 gave us a lot of problems in pass protection. Uh, pushed the pocket. We were soft. We didn't have a solid pocket. Quarterback didn't feel comfortable. Uh, timing in the passing game wasn't what it needed to be in terms of, you know, how much time we had to throw it and how much time we had to get open. So those are the kind of things that I think we really need to improve on. But we didn't handle their pressure very well. We didn't handle their movement very well. And we didn't get much movement when they didn't move. So those things all add up to being not so good. Coach, how did the competition tonight prepare you for a and I'm sorry? How did the competition tonight prepare you guys for a and Well, I think playing a good opponent, you know, makes your team realize what they need to do to be uh, to improve. And I don't think there's anybody in our locker room that's satisfied with the way they play. Uh, they certainly appreciate the fact that we were able to win against a very good team, that we have a lot of respect for their program and the players and the way they play tonight. Uh, but I think everybody realizes that um, we need to improve. And I think when you play good opponents like this, it makes your players realize where they are, what they need to be committed to, to play to the standard that it's going to take for us to be good teams in our league. And I think we learned that tonight. Right here. Coach, it's uh, much easier just to stay at home, schedule a game against an FCS team. Uh, this is your third trip to the Chick-fil-A kickoff game, and you're scheduled for next year. What is it about this game that makes it worth coming to Atlanta instead of just staying home and playing a probably uh, easily beatable opponent? Well, first of all, I think it helps prepare our team for playing in our league, which is very difficult playing on the road in our league, which is very difficult. And I think when you play against a good team, sort of what I just said, it makes you realize what you have to do to play against the good teams in our league and how we need to improve. Um, so you know, I think there's a lot of benefits to it. I think there's a lot of exposure 
uh, that we get because we play in these games. I, I think playing in these games in 2008 and 2009, it is much to kickstart our program as anything that we ever did because it was game day. In those days, it was the only game. So we got a tremendous amount of exposure. Um, we played Clemson and Virginia Tech. We both had good teams and were ranked teams, and we were able to beat them both. And, and I really think that, you know, that helped kickstart, you know, our program to become what it's become. Okay, over here on the side. You guys had several new guys in there tonight. Can you assess how some of those uh, freshmen did? New guys where? Just some freshmen who played. We had them all over the place. Did you assess how some of them did tonight? How about being, can you be more specific, like ask me about, if I started to go through every young guy that played tonight, I mean, everybody would leave. <laughs> I mean, who do you want to know about? I'll tell you about them. Anybody you want to talk about? We can answer some of the guys in offensive line. Well, we've been talking about the offensive line, and we need to improve in the offensive line. But I don't even think the guys that had a lot of experience playing played as well as they need to play in the offensive line. I don't think that we're talking about the inexperienced guys not playing well. I think we're talking about the entire group realizing that they need to play a little bit better, play a little bit better together, uh, be a little more physical. Um, we have too good of skill players not to give them more opportunities to make plays in the game. So I'm not going to single out young guys. I think the entire group needs to do a better job. Right here in the middle. Uh, what did you think of the defensive line's ability to put pressure on Logan Thomas but also keep him contained in the pocket and not let him run too much? Well, I thought we did a really good job defensively. And, you know, they didn't do anything on offense that we practiced against. All right? So, you know, we, we knew that we didn't know how they would use their personnel. Um, they ran a lot of option plays, a lot of two-back option plays. We hadn't practiced against it at all. We played against it before. And our players on defense did a fantastic job of adjusting in the game. Um, and other than the 75, 77 yard run where we got out of position um, on a stunt and the secondary didn't squeeze the ball properly, um, I thought the defense did a pretty good job all night and we have a lot of respect for Logan Thomas and got off the field on third down. Uh, I thought he played well. I thought he executed well. Uh, I think, you know, they dropped a couple balls that probably hurt his stats, but I think the guy's a really good player. All right, we're going to go back on the back. Coach, can you talk specifically about uh, your secondary? Uh, you guys held uh, Logan Thomas to 59 yards passing. You did a very good job throughout the game uh, when the ball was working on that one. Well, but I think there's a lot of things that we can improve on in the secondary as well. You know, we, we've got some new players playing. I thought they played well and adjusted well in the game today, which I think is really critical. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, Jarek's never really played star before and did a really good job in the game. John Fulton did a good job in the game. You know, Benny did a nice job. So the whole group did a really nice job, you know, of adjusting to the things that we had to adjust to in the game. But I think our players on defense kind of understand the system. They kind of believe in it. They kind of, and they have enough, we have enough experience out there that they can't adapt to things that we haven't played or practiced against. I had a bit of